All this action from the Formula 1600s is proudly brought to you by Investchem. And the South African Superbike Championship is proudly brought to you by Liqui Molly and their associate sponsors. Welcome to the East London Grand Prix circuit, the fastest track in the country. And we've got the fastest riders going to battle now in the South African Superbike Championship. The 600ccs and thousands will be combined this weekend with 11 riders making their way out onto the grid. And look for a big battle at the front end with the usual contenders, but a new man joining there and a welcome return to South African Superbike Racing for Stephen Udendahl, who's flown in directly from the Silverstone round of MotoGP and will now be a full-on contender back in South Africa. Clint Seller looking to extend his lead and Lance Isaacs looking to close that lead down in the overall championship for the 1,000ccs. But Udendahl is definitely going to be a big threat. We've seen how quick he's been at a couple of the tracks since his return. And on the Mitsubishi Electric Yamaha, he's definitely going to be a front runner. In the 600cc category, Dino Yotso will definitely be looking to close things down a little bit. He lost out on a few occasions, but he'll definitely be pushing hard to see if he can catch the leader, Blaze Baker and Kuhn Sneijman, as they fight it out now for honours in the 600cc championship. It is Udendahl who gets pole position, which means he's going to be a really tough man to beat, and we know how good he is off the line. Will Clint Seller be able to run with him, or is Seller going to just sit with him and let him dictate the pace? Jared Schultz on pole position, but the 600 is looking fired up as they're ready to go now for race number one. Here we go. It's Undal on the front row. Seller alongside. Isaac's getting adjusted as well. Lights about to go off. Fantastic start from Clint Seller in the middle of the pack. A great start coming out of Iotso. Iotso getting through there. Brandon Staffan going with him. And they are three by three down towards Potters. Brandon Staffan looking for the whole shot. The Cape Town man squeezes through on the inside and outguns everybody from the third row of the grid. What a start there from Staffan. In the 600s and he's pushing hard and now trying to get away from the second place man there, Schultze. And then it's Blaze Baker, Iotso and Kuhn Sneijman. Tarek van der Merwe just sitting behind them. The thousands head down towards Cocabana now and it is Steven Undahl with two bike links over Seller as they come under braking. Great bit of manoeuvring there from Dylan Barnard in, on the NPL bike just closing down on that high-tech Yamaha and that of course being piloted by Byron Bester. They head down the beach straight for the first time now coming into gate corner and Undahl is starting to open up a bit of a margin. He is not allowing the King Price Extreme bike of Seller to come anywhere near him. Under braking a bit of a charge and a bit of a look up the inside there from Blaze Baker. We're on board here with Isaacs as they come through the complex. Seller on the inside. Oh, what a move from Clint Seller. Evil Knievel diving on the inside of Udendahl, and Udendahl gets forced wide. Isaacs goes through with him. But there you see it, straight back, Stephen Udendahl, Moto 2 style, and just chopping and changing as they get to the top and back towards Beacon. Lance Isaacs losing out ever so slightly there on the brakes as Udendahl tries to close back again on the rear piece and try and get through there on the championship leader. But there's going to be a hard, hard day in the saddle there for Clint Seller, particularly with this man back in South African Superbike Racing. Look at how that bike is battling to stay on two wheels there as he comes across the line. Isaac's getting all those bumps down that big straight. And now into the infamous Potters Pass. And the Superbets BMW all over the back of those two Yamahas. It's the King Price Extreme Yamaha for a little while. Is this Rundahl on the inside? A rifle! Wow, we had a big look there. Nearly got through at the second fastest corner here on the circuit. And now comes under braking back down towards Cocabana. Udendahl is applying massive pressure and Isaacs is sitting waiting for something to go wrong between those two R1s. This is on board now, looking straight into the back end here of Seller and looking for a chance now to see whether or not Udendahl is going to find a way here on the beat straight. They come down to where Seller had a big moment a couple of seasons ago and now he has just put that right behind him and now looking to get away from Udendahl. Back to the 600s now and look at that. It's Staffan now who's dropped back to third place. Kuhn Sneijman trying to close things down. Baker's in second, which means Schultz is out front. Now, I think if we've seen the kind of pace that he put together in qualifying, he can run at the front end there and possibly stay at the front end. If he's just able to bridge that gap to Dylan Barnard just ahead of him there, there's a very good possibility he might be able to stay and win this first heat. Chopping and changing now for the leaders that come into Beacon Corner. Udendahl trying to close down on Seller. Coming out of pit lane there, I think that was Dino Yotso. Yotso had a bit of a problem. He's come back on the pit lane and onto the circuit, out of pit lane, right in front of his teammate. Is that going to affect the thousands heading into Potters? No, not really. He's just ahead of them there, so he's just able to stay out of trouble. Byron Best decided to close in on the back end of that uh, battle for third place. Schultz ahead of Baker. And you can see Kuhn Sneijman closing in to the man who got the whole shot in the 600s there, Brandon Staffan. And it looks like Staffan might be just battling a little bit with that new bike. Remember, he's on an R6 now. He was on a ZX6. It's an R6 Cup now for 600ccs. The bike to be on definitely comes from the tuning forks manufacturer. And now under braking, Kuhn Sneijman closes him down. Tries to cut back as they go through Cocabana. Watch for the drive down the straight. Let's see if he's able to get that. We're on board here with Brandon Staffan. Expect the move on the inside here from Kuhn Sneijman if he's got the drive. And Sneijman might just squeeze him out into gate corner. On the brakes. No, he's not able to get there. Back to the thousands at the front end. Seller hangs on. Udendahl in second place. 
Wunda are starting to up the pace a little bit there. You can see the King Price Racing machine here of Seller working double time to keep out Steven Wundahl. A man that he hasn't battled with in a long, long time. But it was great to have him back at Swatkops, and it's now great to have him back. Oh, and what a move! Wundahl dives up the inside as we're on board there with Seller and gets up into Beacon Corner and retakes the lead. So the SASPK machine on that Mitsubishi Yamaha is now flying with Steven Wundahl on it. And look at how he pulls away down that straight. That R1 has got some great, great top end, and he pulls away from Seller. Seller now under attack from his arch rival in this championship. That's Lance Isaacs. Isaacs sitting comfortably in third place, waiting for something to go wrong here between these two R1s. And you can see just how hard Seller's pushing, running right to the curbs there, coming out of the exit point of Potters. Now on the brakes, down to Cocabana. Lance Isaacs closes in on the brakes on the BMW. That Superbets BMW has been very good. We expected it to be very good down here at the fastest track in the country. Oh, and Seller's down! Seller makes a mistake in Cocabana, puts the wheel down and washes the front end. And Seller's gone down, giving Byron Bester third place, fourth place now to Dylan Barnard. Can Seller get the bike up and running again? He's picked it up. That is a big mistake to make and a vital one, particularly at this track. I don't know if he's able to get it back. He's had lots of bad luck at the circuit in the past and I hopefully didn't give him the commentator's curse. But there you have it, Clint Seller. The front wheel washes out down into Cocobana. Here you can see it from Udendahl's point of view. There it goes, sliding down towards the beach. And Udendahl now with a massive advantage over Lance Isaacs. This is Isaacs' point of view of the same incident. He goes down, Isaacs nearly goes with him. A little bit of target fixation there from Isaacs. And here on board with Seller. Just that front wheel washes out and he hangs onto it. Gets the bike back up, fortunately. He's able to get it back on track and he has been able to get going again. But now Udendahl with a massive advantage. And in fact, Udendahl getting down into a 1 minute 17.6. A brand new lap record just set with him with one lap to go. So Steven Udendahl, you can't even see Lance Isaacs in the background. That's how far Udendahl has pulled away from Lance Isaacs for second. But Isaacs is not even on the main straight as Udendahl pitches it into Potters. You can see that International Moto2 experience now paying off for this very young and very talented rider. As he heads down towards Cocabana now, he's got it all plain sailing here in East London. The wind has been a big factor, definitely has caught out, and I think it actually might have been one of the reasons why Seller went down here. He might have just been caught out by a very strong wind here at East London Grand Prix circuit. No worries at all though for Wendell. Byron Bester and Barnard fighting for third. Wow! And Barnard's dived through there on Bester. Bester coming along. Oh, Barnard has a big moment. Nearly gets out of the saddle there. Baker under attack now for second place in the 600 cc's. There's Schultze just up the road. And Kuhn Steinman wants that second place. Can Baker keep him out? The chequered flag is on standby. And here comes Udendahl. This is his third victory in a row now. And what a return to South African Superbike Racing here for the man who was in Moto2 and is now back in South African Superbike Racing. Baker banging bars here, trying to find a way through on Snayman. Snayman's up his inside. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Kuhn Snayman has just got through there on Blaze Baker into Beacon Corner. It's Schultze to take the win. But it's Kuhn Snayman who muscles his way through for second and gets that second place. Confirmation of results there. Undal ahead of Isaacs and Bester with Dylan Barnard in fourth place. And in the 600s, Schultz took the win ahead of Kuhn Snayman, Blaze Baker and Tarek van Amerva. Celebrations for the 600 cc's up on the top step of the podium is Jared Schultz with his first victory down at East London. Let's catch up and find out how it went. It was a really good race. I uh, didn't get the whole shot, unfortunately, but then I uh, just tried to get in front as quick as I could. And then from there, I just put my head down, tried to open the gap and yeah, managed to keep the gap all the way to the finish line. Amazing ride coming out of Steven Undahl and a brand new outright lap record for two wheelers here at the East London Grand Prix circuit and in some very windy conditions. The wind's like really, really tough here, so I just wanted to make sure I had the right uh, rhythm and then once I passed him, I tried to push as hard as I can to break the lap record and I think I got it, so really happy with that and well done to the guys, they're riding awesome. Heading down to Cape Town for the next round and it is the Cape Town boys who've got to do the work. Seller with a 21 point lead ahead of Isaacs and McFadden. They'll definitely looking to close that gap down at their home track. Blaze Baker though in the 600s is leading things out with Kuhn Snayman and Schultze looking to close him down in Cape Town.